Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade standard of multiplication and division facts. This is 3.4F in the great state of Texas. We are using item number 17 off the released 2017 released start test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, see if you can work the problem out on your own, and then unpause it, and we'll look at our answers together. So Kevin and his two brothers are eating a bowl of grapes. Let's see, there are 27 grapes in the bowl and each boy ate the same number of grapes. What is the number of grapes that each boy ate? Well, when we see this same number, or sometimes we'll see the word equal groups or the term equal groups, when we see that, that lets us know that we are going to be looking at multiplication or division. Those are related. Those are what we call inverse or backwards opposite operations. But both multiplication and division only work if you have the same number of groups. Think of them kind of like fractions. Fractions are only fractions if each portion is the exact same size. Now, we have Kevin and his two brothers, and they're eating 27 grapes. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start with a strip tie diagram here. And I'm just going to draw, because this is my, my total. It says there are 27 grapes in the bowl. So I'm just going to put 27 up here. So when the number says, what is the number of grapes that each boy eats? Well, how can a boy eat more than 27 grapes if there's only 27 grapes? So I already know just by reading, it can't be 54. We'll look at how we get that number and it can't be 81. How, a boy cannot eat 54 or 81 grapes if there are a total of 27. So the number's gotta be smaller. It's gotta be seven or nine. Now, here's the tricky part. It's Kevin and his two brothers. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna see if I can draw three little chunks down here. And I'm gonna draw three chunks because I'm gonna label this Kevin, and I'm going to label this brother one for B1, brother two for B2. So here's the tricky part is you have to realize there are three people, Kevin and his two brothers. But if you're just looking for number words, you're only going to find the number two. So what we're looking for here is how do we take the 27 and we divide it into three equal groups. Another way to Think about it would be a multiplication fact. Three groups of what is going to equal 27? Well, there's a, a slow way to do it. I'll show you how to do that in case you ever get stuck. You can just take 27 and just put them equally in each of these brothers' little boxes here. So I'm just going to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We're just going to keep going. 10. 11, 12, remember the fifth one, 13, 14, 15 is a slash, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and here we go, 25, 26, 27. So my answer is going to be how many grapes did each boy eat? They ate five and four, so that's going to make nine. So nine plus nine plus nine, that's my repeated addition. If I wanted to check that out, I could get that three times nine. Now, how do we get 54 and 81? Well, if we're not necessarily thinking about division and we just see 27 and two, well, if I don't know what to do, or maybe I th see the same number and I'm thinking, oh, maybe I need to multiply. Well, if I double 27 or 27 times two, seven times two is 14. 2 times 2 is 4, add the 1. If I double 27, there's my 54. If I'm smart enough and I say, whoa, 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 there's three kids here. Well, if I do 27 times 3, guess what I'm going to get? 7 times 3 is still 21. Now 2 times 3 is 6, add the 2 is 8. So that's where the 81 comes from when you're multiplying, using the wrong operation. And then they just needed a fourth answer, and 7 was kind of close to 9. But there's not a real good way to get 7 and 27. So the answer is D, 9. 